Welcome back. Hey guys, it's Rishi once again. And today we're back with solving simultaneous equations graphically. So now if you haven't seen our video with Vincent, where he's gone through an introduction with simultaneous equations, then stop here and go to that video. There is a link at the bottom of the screen right now where you will see simultaneous equations with Vincent. But if you have seen it already, then let's dive in directly into solving simultaneous equations graphically. What does it mean by graphically? Well, this is the process that allows us to solve two or more algebraic equations that share variables by sketching their graphs. Now, the point or points of intersection give the solutions to these simultaneous equations. Now, this is because that at the point of intersection, the two equations are equal to one another, and therefore the values of the variables are the same for both equations. So what do I mean by point of intersection? Well, the point of intersection is where the two lines meet. So again, if you can take a look at question number one here, you can see that these intersect at coordinates 2, 4. So if I put this in red, you can see we go up all the way to 2 and then to 4. So what does this mean? Well, to reiterate, this means that the two equations are equal to one another at this specific point. So they're going to be the same for both equations. So as you can see here, that the solution to these equations is x equals 2 and y equals 4. And that is because this is on the x-axis and the 4 is on the y-axis. And it's as simple as that. So what have we done? To find the solutions from the graphs, look for the point where the two graphs cross one another. And that is the solution point. But before we move on, let's take a look at the two equations that they've given us. So you can see the graphs of the straight lines start with equations y equals x plus 2 and 2x plus 3y equals 16. So now how can they formulate these two lines? Well, let's take a look. Well, we know that y equals x plus 2. And by looking at this, we now know that y is 4 and x is 2. So if we substitute that in, that should be correct. And it is. 2 plus 2 equals 4. But let's take a look at a different point here. And let's go for 5, which goes up here, and then 2, which is for the y-axis. So let's put y is equal to 2 and x is equal to 5. And we can already see that 5 plus 2 does not equal to 2. So that is incorrect. And we can do the same thing with our second equation, which was 2x plus 3y equals 16. So we know that x is 2, so we'll have 2 times 2, which is 4. And we know that y is 4, so we'll have 3 times 4, which is then 12. And we know that equals to 16. And there we are. So once again, I hope that was a quick and easy way to understand how to calculate simultaneous equations graphically. With that in mind, let's go over to question two. So now with question two, again, we need to find the intersection. So we know the intersection falls at this place here, where that means x is minus two, and y is going to be your 1. So now x equals minus 2 and y equals 1. And let's go ahead and check this once more. So we'll have 2y minus x which equals 4 and we'll have x plus y equals minus 1. So we now know that y equals 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 and we know that x is minus 2. So we know that 2 take away take away 2 is a positive 4 because two negatives give you a positive. And there we are. So in this particular question, the graph of 4y minus 6x equals 7 is drawn on the grid. And it's now asking us to draw the graph of y equals minus 2x. So let's take a look at this a little bit further. 
So to solve this question, we first have constructed a set of axes, making sure that there is enough room to plot the two graphs. So that's already been done for us. Now we need to draw the graphs. So now in order to draw these graphs, we have to use a table of value. So that is where we're going to have our x and our y, and these are going to list out our values. So now we know that our x-axis goes from minus 3 to positive 3. So we'll simply list this out, just as I'm doing here. And then I need to substitute my value into the equation they have given us, which is y equals minus 2x. So what that means is we'll take our value, minus 2, and we'll times it by x, which is going to be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and so and so. So we know that minus 2 times minus 3 is going to be 6, as two negatives give me a positive. We know minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. Minus 1 times minus 2 is, is going to be 2. 0 times minus 2 is 0. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. And 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Now that being said, we can now go ahead and plot the graph of y equals minus 2x. So let's start off with the first one, and that's going to be minus 3 to 6. So if we take a look at our graph, we'll have minus 3, 6 as our first coordinate, and that's going to be right here in the top left-hand corner. Plot all the other coordinates, and that's going to be minus 2 to 4. We'll have minus 1 to 2. We'll have 0 to 0. 1 to minus 2, 2 to minus 4, and 3 to minus 6. And then we can go ahead and we can create our straight line. So let's go ahead, get our ruler up, formulate that straight line, and there we go. And that there is your question done. We've now gone ahead and drawn the graph of y equals minus 2x. We've substituted the values in, and we have our answer. So now for part b, it states, use the graphs to solve the simultaneous equations. So now we know that we have to look at the point in which it intersects. So if we take a look at that and zoom in here, we know, and I'll do this in blue, that it's going to be right here. And now we just need to get the coordinates of this. So we know the first thing is going to be a minus 0 0.5 on our x-axis, and then it's going to be a 1 on our y-axis. So now we know x equals 0 0.5, and that's a minus, and y equals 1. And there we are. So I hope that question was clear. Let's now move into the final set of questions, question 4 and question 5. Wonderful. So for question 4, we need to work out the coordinates of the point where the line intersects. So as you know now, it's made it a little bit challenging for us because we don't have our x-axis and y-axis values. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this with the two equations they've given us. So we know y equals 4x minus 5 and y equals 2x plus 1. We know that they are both equal to y, so we can go ahead and find the value of x. So we'll have 4x minus 5 equals 2x plus 1. We will then subtract 2x from both sides here. So we're now left with 2x minus 5, which equals 1. And then we will add 5 on both sides. So now we have 2x equals 6. We will then make x the subject by dividing 2 on both sides. So we know x equals 3. So by doing this, I can go ahead and substitute this value into any one of the y equations. I'll go ahead and do the second one here. So I'll have 2 times 3 plus 1, which equals 7. So now we know that 7 is going to be my y-axis and 3 is going to be my x-axis. And that's the coordinate of the point where the line intersects. And we can also do this with the first equation if we need to, which is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, minus 5, which is also 7. And there we are. So now I hope this has been useful. I've gone through many different examples and different types of questions. So let's finish off with the final one here, which is question five. So now the diagram shows two straight lines. 
and the equation of the lines are y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 1. So let's go ahead and work out the coordinates once more. So you know they're both equal to y, so we can simply equal them together. So we'll get 2x plus 3 equals minus 2 thirds x plus 1. We'll then go ahead and make x the subject. So again, this divided by 3 will be taken over to become a times by 3. So we'll be given 6x plus 9 equals minus 2x plus 3. As you can see, I'm multiplying both of the sides by 3 here. So now I've gone ahead and done that. I'll take the 2x over. So again, plus 2x on both sides. So we have 8x plus 9 equals 3. And then the minus 9, which we have 8x equals 3 minus 9, which is minus 6. And so now we know that x will equal minus 6 over 8 because we divide both sides by 8. But we can simplify this. As they are both even, we can have it as minus 3 over 4. Or if even if you want to put this in a decimal, you could put it as minus 0 0.75. And that there is our x axis. So we have minus 0 0.75, comma. So now let's go over to the final stage where we need to substitute our value in. So we'll take 2x plus 3, which equals y. So now let's go ahead and multiply 2 by minus 0 0.75, which will then give us minus 1.5, and then add 3 to this, which will then give us 1.5, and that's a positive. So now we know that our y will equal 1.5. And there we are. And that there brings us to the end of our session. Once again, you've come so far with us, and I am so proud of your journey. Don't forget to keep up the great work. If this was easy, everybody would do it. But your plan is to make it easy. So keep up the great work. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel where you'll be notified of all of the new videos that we will be uploading. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. This will only help you. Give me all the feedback that I need to make this more interactive and meaningful. So keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next video.